Here is a step by step on how to create a PayPal account that can send and receive funds in Nigeria in 2024 and beyond. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can create a PayPal account that can receive funds and also be able to send funds. Now here is a proof of what I am showing you guys. This account right here is my personal account that I have used over four years ago and this account has not had any issue at all and the method I'm going to show you guys is also the same method that I used to create this account over here. So you can see I have a balance of around $554 on this account and you can see this account is transacting until this day. Morning in is about $199 and morning out $198 and here you can see I have payments going here even until 15th of July 2024 and there are a lot of payment history right here so I know exactly what I'm talking about because I have this account for myself and I've helped a lot of persons to do this in the past. In fact, what I'm showing you guys is something I could have easily put together in a course and I sell it and I could make a lot of money from it. But I'm going to teach you guys how to do that because you guys are my tribe. You guys are my community. And so for that reason, the only way you can show me some level of appreciation is to give this video a thumbs up and drop a nice comment in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, please subscribe right now, okay? Thank you very much for subscribing. So, having done that right now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do this for yourself, okay? Now, let's just dive into it. You do not even need a VPN for this. You do not need to change your location or anything like that. So, just a very simple strategy. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Make sure you stick to the end because if you don't stick to the end, you might miss out the important information. There is a very vital information that most of the tutorials are most likely missing out that you just watch the same video and come back and have complaints. But I'm showing you exactly what to do. All right. You don't have to have a brother in the US or in the UK to help you. Of course, that method can actually work. If you have somebody in the US or in the UK that can help you to create the account on their name and give to you to use, that is also perfect. Okay. But this method is the method that you can create the account for yourself here in Nigeria and then be able to use it. Now let's go into it. Okay. So of course, once you come on PayPal here, if you just type PayPal.com, it's going to take you to a page like this and this is the nigerian paypal okay you will see the address paypal.com dot slash ng slash home okay and here you can only create a personal account and your personal account can only send funds for nigerian personal account okay now what we're going to do is first thing is to come right here where you have slash ng and we're going to change it to ls okay now follow me step by step don't click away and say i've known about this before i've heard it lesotho people and all of that just stick around and make sure you watch the end because the strategy i'm going to show you you've not seen it before trust me okay now so once you click on that it's going to take you to a different page so you can see you now have option for personal business and partners and developers okay you have more options so what you're just going to do is to click on sign up for free and we're going to start the registration process okay it's going to ask you to choose between two accounts whether you want a personal account or a business account of course we want to create a business account that can receive payment so we're going to select business account okay and then the next thing is to click continue now the next thing is for you to enter your name correctly now this name has to be exactly with what you have on your id the id that you would need for this process is an international passport if you don't have international passport i would recommend that you go and get one for yourself because a couple of things you'll be doing on the internet space most likely you'll be needing your id if you don't have an international passport at least get a driver's license but for this particular um, procedure you'll be needing your international passport that is what will work perfectly for you okay so we're going to enter our first name and our last name so this account i'm creating it for someone so 
that is why i'm just going to show you guys the tutorial on how to do everything okay let's do that now all right so once you are done with that you're going to enter your email and a password of course you're going to enter a strong password remember this part that says enter at least a number and a special character so just enter something that would work for you and that you can always remember so click on you have read it and of course agree if you want to read what it is just go over here user agreement and read but of course i know that most of you don't actually read these things and even if you read them eventually you're still going to agree because you really want to create the account of course so why not so i agree and create account so they're going to send a code to your email for you to confirm so just click on email a code then they are going to send a code to our email so we'll just quickly go inside our email and grab that code so they've sent that email let me check that in code all right and it says you are all set okay just a second and it takes us to our dashboard now here is going to ask you to activate your account to start using paper so they just want to find out some information about you okay so you're going to click on let's go now it's going to ask you are you an individual seller or a business you have a registered company and stuff like that so you're just going to click on business i'm going to click on it's going to ask you your business type so you're going to say is a private corporation okay and then you're going to click on next so it's going to ask you for your business name so just enter your business name here okay so your trading name you can also use your legal business name and your business registration number so you're just going to add it here okay so just make sure that whatever you're adding as your business registration number you actually know what it is okay so you can just put a random number there all right for this purpose so just going to make sure that you know the exact number you're putting there okay so you're going to go ahead and answer these other questions so it's going to ask you the currency of course you're going to choose us dollars so it's going to ask you product or service so you just want to select digital goods media books and stuff like that and you're just going to select that so do you have a business website you're just going to say no all right and then what is your business phone number okay so of course you're going to see this code here which shows that it's actually a lesotho code we can change this to your phone number and there's no problem with that so we're going to change this to our phone number here just change the code here to nigerian phone number and you're still good all right so it's going to ask you for your business address so just make sure you enter an address here and it can't be um a PO boss so we're just going to enter our business address here so it's going to go ahead and still ask you for your date of birth and stuff like that so you're just going to select your date of birth here and put the dates and then for your nationality you're going to select nigeria here okay just go ahead and select nigeria and for your phone number you're going to put your phone number as well again so it's going to ask you for your registered address so you can just select same as registered business address and it's just going to populate over here because i don't want to start entering that from beginning again so you're going to click next so you're going to ask you complete the customer identification process to avoid paypal account service interruption so so for place of incorporation you're just going to select lesotho here and then you're going to click on submit so now they're going to ask you to tell them about your income okay so we're just going to say no no so now we're good we're just going to click on submit now you can see congrats you are all set so we've emailed your confirmation link to verify that the email address provided belongs to you so you just go back to go back to home page okay now they've sent me a couple of emails here which i'm just going to go ahead and reply or follow through but then i want to quickly show you guys some stuff here on my dashboard so guys this account is ready okay but there is one more thing that we need to do for this account for it to be able to you know be able to send funds and receive funds so right you can see my dashboard looks pretty same like the one i showed you earlier on okay but we're going to come over to where you have pay and get paid okay and then we're going to link our account to our card right so here you're going to come over to banks and cards now where you have link banks and card okay your best bet would be to link your card okay 
you might encounter issues trying to link your bank so what you're going to do is to link your card and the card you're going to link here is going to be your dollar card now you can get a dollar card from your nigerian bank account or from your nigerian bank and link that dollar card to this platform and it's going to work pretty well personally i linked my gtb and it's working pretty well then another option you're going to also use is to use a virtual card so the card i would recommend you use is to use the one from clever so in my previous video i showed you guys how to get a clever account and also be able to get a virtual card from their platform so if you have not watched that video make sure to go back and watch that video right here there's going to be a link around this video where you can also watch that video so once you watch that video you'll be able to get um a virtual card from clever platform and you're going to come over here and then link the card so um if you guys are enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up i don't want to make this video too long so there's going to be a second part of this video where i'm going to show you guys exactly how to link this card so if you guys want to watch that video let me know in the comments that you want to learn how to link your card with this platform so and i'm going to drop that video so that's how i'm going to wrap up for this particular tutorial and make sure you click on the bell for notification so that eventually if i make that video on how to link your card to your paypal account you're not going to miss out thank you for watching and i hope you got some value until i see you next time in my video keep winning and bye bye